Enware is a cloud gaming platform that is owned by a company called Cloudware, which is based in Spain. We designate Enware as a pick up and play, own it, play it cloud gaming platform in which you have to own the games from third party distributors like Steam to play on the platform. Enware might be based in Spain, but they have servers in Spain and Brazil. From my experience, it's looking like they have the same hardware in both locations. Let's see what they're working with. Now I ran a couple of benchmarks. First was the 3D Mark benchmark since I was able to install it and run it on their Steam launcher. For their CPU, they are running the Intel Xeon Gold 6338, which has a standard clock speed of 2.0 GHz. This is a server CPU, so it has a total of 32 CPUs and 64 threads, but it's only using 8 processors of the 32 with no hyper threading. This means you'll get the full power of the 8 cores you're using. Now for the GPU, they're using the NVIDIA A40. This is an Ampere Generation Workstation GPU, which has a max of 48 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. But the 4Q means that it's configured so you can only get 4 gigabytes of VRAM. We'll get more into this later. The 3 d Mark benchmark performed pretty well. It does a standard test of 1440p for all their tests. The score hit just over 7000, which is right between the base shadow machine and the power upgrade. Now on to a more interesting test. I installed Ghost Recon Breakpoint on their Ubisoft launcher. And I love running this benchmark because it shows everything, plus it gives you a score. And we're starting my resolution at 720p, so I'm going to run this one first. The graphic settings are at default settings. The 720 results were underwhelming. It got a score of a B with an average of 50 FPS. Odd. Let's bump this up to 1080p, which is what Enware streams at. A few moments later. I find it interesting that this performed better than the 720 test with an average of 55 FPS. Now can we go higher? Yes, it's possible to go 4K for some odd reason, but Enware only streams at 1080p. I also noticed that there is a 60 FPS cap. Now we'll run the 4K benchmark just for kicks. A few moments later. Okay, so I'm totally surprised that the 4K benchmark surpassed everything with an A rating and an almost 60 FPS average. It's like this configuration is bottlenecked with lower resolutions. Which makes sense because the A40 is a pretty powerful GPU. Now what I found is really holding this configuration back is not necessarily the hardware itself, but the VRAM. I tried to increase the graphics settings to Ultra on any resolution and I couldn't because I didn't have enough VRAM to do so. We could get a lot more power here if they gave us some more memory from the A40. Oh well, maybe they will if they offered a 4K tier. Overall, we'll have to run some more tests on other games, so stay tuned for other videos covering games on Enware, especially with games with benchmarks. So far, the power of Enware is pretty decent, but not necessarily top-notch for 1080p gameplay. Remember, if you need Enware gift card codes to get direct access, the links are in the description. If you like this benchmark of the Enware platform, give us a like. Also, make sure to join as a member of the channel or join our Patreon in the links below. And above all else, make sure to subscribe to keep it locked right here at the only place where you can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle.